to this, only on five, the suspect wanted in a brutal attack is back in a Boston courtroom after a month on the run. He's accused of attacking a woman inside her own home, attempted murder, assault to murder, and strangulation are just some of the charges that he's facing. Thanks for being with us, everybody. Maria Stefano. And I'm Ed Harding. Five Investigates has learned that the suspect has a long history with police. Our Karen Anderson is here in the newsroom with new details live for us right now. Karen? Ed and Maria, this was a horrifying daytime attack. The victim, a young woman at home on her day off. And police say the suspect, Washington Pearson, broke in and terrorized her. And we're learning he'd just been released from prison in July. In fact, he spent most of his adult life behind bars. 55-year-old Washington Pearson walked into a Boston court after being captured by U.S. Marshals in Virginia. He's now charged with attempted murder and assault with attempt to rape a woman inside her home in Boston. Investigators say on October 24th, Pearson broke into the victim's apartment along the Arbor Way in Jamaica Plain with a screwdriver. She was on a day off from work and she saw him in her living room. He then darted at her in the living room. He put her into chokeholds and told her repeatedly not to look at him. He dragged her into her bedroom. Um, he began rummaging through her jewelry while continuing to hold her in a chokehold. He then strangled her until she lost consciousness. When she woke up, he was still there. But her pants and her underwear had been removed. She was on her bed. When she tried to get up, the defendant strangled her again. When she came to a second time, Pearson was gone along with her cell phone and jewelry. After the attack, police released these surveillance images of the suspect. Prosecutors say several police officers recognized Pearson from his lengthy criminal record. They say Pearson spent a majority of his adult life in prison. With 197 entries on his criminal record going back to 1987, four different women have taken out restraining orders against him. In his most recent case, a 10-year prison sentence for numerous convictions, including breaking and entering and being a habitual criminal. He was released in July of this year, ordered to live in a residential reentry program, which was near the victim's home. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon, sir. Pearson requested to represent himself, claiming he was improperly extradited and arguing prosecutors' request for $250,000 bail was too high. Technically, give me a prison sentence prior to me even receiving any sentence from this particular allegations. Now, when Pearson was captured, police said that he had a screwdriver similar to the one the victim described. Police say he'd previously told the detective he planned to die by suicide by cop. A not guilty plea was entered for Pearson. He's being held on a quarter of a million dollars bail. In the newsroom, Karen Anderson, Five Investigates.